What is up, little flexors? Old flexors? Medium flexors? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, we are going to play some Picaram for you. This is a great and crazy matchup. We go down by so many prizes so early. I think there's no chance. But again, another reason that you should never scoop on an untimed game. So watch this deck perform. I think you'll really, really enjoy some of the strategy that we employ. It's a really fun matchup. I hope you enjoy. Until next time, good luck and also have fun. There were, unfortunately, there were a lot of people that complained about that format i remember like decidui being way too good or like they didn't like zorak trading and stuff like that but then <laughs> moral of the story is that people are always going to complain <laughs> people are always going to complain all right are we do you think we're playing a peek around mirror in which case we'll take these two Um, we can go here. Get a little boy. We do have Zero Aura, which is pretty nice. Go there. Uh, we'll play. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They have seven in hand, so we want to reset stamp them. Because it lessens their card advantage by one. Then we'll go Electro Power for no real reason, and we'll the Den. Okay. So Tag Call gets it for us. I'm gonna save it though, just so that we don't uh, we don't play it in case they reset stamp us or something. I, I don't know. We'll, we'll just we'll save it for now. Lily based formats must be dead then? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Exactly, grammar time. Which is sad. It's sad, but you know, it is what it is. I mean the, the Lily based formats were only from like a year ago or a year and a half ago. So those might be too new to be considered retro. <laughs> Honestly, 2017 to 2018 feels too new to be retro, but. I have a playset of the Altart comms and a playset of the Heart Gold Soul Silver comms. Well, you need to play one of each or two of each in every deck. That's for sure. I think either Obstagoon or Blacephalon is the play for the Player's Cup. I couldn't ever see Blacephalon being the play. I think Blacephalon has really fallen out of favor. Like, we've seen Dragapult rise, like, over the last, I would say, month. Like, Dragapult's stock, I feel like, has just been, it's been like Tesla stock. Like, it hasn't ever made massive jumps. No, we're playing the, the Beazle. It has never made massive jumps, but, um... It's been it's been the kind of thing that has just been slowly and steadily increasing. I just read today that Tesla stock is the highest or like it's the high it's the most expensive car company in the world right now. Pretty crazy. So we'll save this hand. Yeah, it just surpassed Toyota as being the richest car company in the world. So that's a huge thing. It's a huge thing. Oh, we get bodied, bro. We get bodied. Oh my gosh. Can we come back from a Megalopon? If he has Gust, we lose. Oh, and the Meowth too, bro. It's over, dog. He's probably going to get the um the boy right there no okay instead of opting for the weavile interesting i thought for sure you would go for 
the Sil Valley so you could draw your hand up because we know that one of those is a mega level. Maybe the other one is another supporter? Huh, really interesting. Okay, okay. I guess this is the more like the safer route. Yo, another rack! Another rack! <laughs> Yo, Nikhil! Thank you so much, Nikhil, for the sub and another rack. Yo, throw your little delis or your saxies, whatever you want in the chat for these two upstanding members of the community. Thank you so much, guys, for your support. All righty then. Well, we literally cannot win if they get this up, I think, right? Well, we could bolt on them. So I, what we have to do, it, it seems to me, we could try to hit into the mega low punny. And then we could, we could knock this out with that. Okay. So we'll full blitz. Into the Megalopun. Take our three, put him here on the Raichu Raichu. He's gonna knock us out. And we just have to figure it out. I don't know, we just have to figure it out. I, I'm not feeling too confident. He's gonna go down to one prize. <laughs> Yo, a new badge hype for real. Nine months. Getting the blossom. A little cutie there. So we see an energy attachment, and we have just been dead drawing an insane amount. Um, we'll see if we can pull it back. But yeah, if they get, they get a research, they're going to get three prizes off of the uh, knockout. That's just not looking good for your hero. That's for sure. All right, looks like they're debating on what to do. There might be like an alternate attacker. They could get out. Uh, Maybe a Darkrai Umbreon. Um, I don't really see that as being... Or do I see that as being what they want? Do they want a GX there? I feel like you... I feel like you don't. Um, maybe. I mean, this guy knows better than me, so like... Maybe you, because if you do it this way, then you don't sacrifice, you get to keep the mega low putting on the bench. Um, but they can, I just, I don't see the dark moon, right? Or are they gonna, okay, they're gonna black lance and try to set up. Huh. To me, that feels wrong. Am, am I? Am I crazy? That feels... Something about this feels wrong. I feel like you take the knockout there. Because, like, I come in and I paralyze. And then what happens? Or I could gust this up and knock it out. So are they just waiting to get the Meowth or something? Like, are they just waiting to get that? I kind of want to save the boss's orders. What is what is that play? What is that play? They're down three switch. I think the play is to go in on the active with the Raichu Raichu. I'm really trying to figure that out. Huh. Okay. I I I didn't solve the puzzle. I didn't solve the puzzle there. I, I couldn't figure out why they wouldn't go in with the Mega Low Punny. But maybe it was because they didn't have enough to uh, to get a... They didn't have enough energy. They needed the energy to survive one more turn. So that could be it. It just seems like now that they're down, um, they're down three switch. So if they don't find a switch here, their last switch 
I don't even know if this list plays three switch or four switch. There's a great catcher. I'm gonna need to find switch. Still really curious as to whether or not that was the play. Maybe they were thinking a double black lance onto the Dedene and then they could like puppy smashers for the for the win. It's very curious. We'll see how this one plays out. There's a Mallow and Lana. Okay, so they do end up. <laughs> it's not fair, bro. <laughs> they get the Mallow and Lana. Okay, so that's another um, consideration that we have, right? Uh, Mallow and Lana. Strong card. Strong card. So there's the Persian. Get to heal up that. I'm. I mean, if they have an energy to attach then that is pretty much game over. If they don't have an energy to attach, then we're not in a bad spot, um, potentially, because we can knock out with Bolt Hunt, I think. So, yeah, yeah. As long as we don't attach the Speed Lightning to the Bolt Hunt, then we're, then we're okay. Well, can we get up to... We need to get seven in play. Yeah, yeah, so we have the Tapu Koko. Okay, cool. So we do that. Um, I'll bench the Pikaram because there's no other better... Tar no, I can't bench the Peek Around because then this comes in and one shots us. Um, so we'll dance the Ancients. Huh. Okay. I still I don't I don't understand the play. I don't know. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's two ten. Two twenty, I should say. So we'll bolt storm. The reason that we're bolt storming this instead of going into like try to knock out an Umbreon Darkrai or the Mega Low Punny is because we want to just take out their energy. So at this point, we can one shot just about everything on their side of the field. So we're going to try to boss's orders up various things as we see fit. That's our play at this point. We're going to try to target the energy. Uh, the only like safe thing that they could do is put two energy on Umbreon Darkrai, but then if we just top deck like another energy, if we top deck a uh, an Electro Power, then like we just we knock that out and um, yeah we we take complete control. If they keep like one on the Weavile, then we knock that out. If they keep one on the Silvalley, we knock that out. Um, really, not too many options. I I wonder if they could have played that differently. I'm I'm not too sure. I just I wonder if there was some different plays. Like he obviously, he obviously has a really good chance to win with the Sil Valley, because with the Sil Valley they can just Silver Knight or Brave Buddy onto the the, the Dene. So they need to find a Gust, and if they find Gust, they're probably going to take a Boss's orders back. Uh, they can win with two energy on the Sil Valley. So we'll see what the what the play is. Cynthia and Caitlyn comes down. They're taking their research. Okay, so they might have another great catcher. I don't know how much space this thing plays. I think they just play the one gust, right? It's the one gust uh, from great catcher and the one boss's orders, at least in the winning list that I saw, that I've played with. Somebody can confirm with me there. Oh, or just the or just a double. That's pretty good too. Probably put an energy on the double. Yeah. Yeah. I like that. I like that split. I like that split. And then it forces us to target down the double. That's pretty good. I like that. And we can't great catcher the double either. <laughs> we can't we can't do that either. So definitely a big uh, big poggers moment in the chat. Okay, we need an energy. No. No, we lose. We lose. There's nothing we can do. Oh no, chat.
Well... Let's think about this. Do we automatically lose? If we take two prizes... If we take two prizes, can this knock us out? If we take two prizes, what can knock us out? We could, um... We get Air Balloon the active and go into a Raichu Raichu. Um, and then they're still looking for Gust. Like, they're still looking for Gust on this. Can they knock us out with Dubwool? 30 more for each we've taken. So do 240 onto a Raichu Raichu. So... We'll research. Fine. Uh, let's go resetting hole. Just for fun. Retreat. Into this fella. And we don't really care about anything else. Go ahead and Electromagnetic Radar. We'll take these two guys. We don't want to bench any of them, though. Because then this boy just comes up. But we'll Tandem Shock. We have not seen... The funny thing, we haven't seen uh, an Electro Power since that first turn. So that's been a little bit pog. We also didn't get an Energy Attachment that last turn. Um, a lot of things just, like, not really going our way. Uh, it's just been an interesting game. So we'll see. They they have to have the gust here. They have the gust and energy, they win. They have gust and energy, they win. So five in the discard. Uh, five, six, seven. Gonna look for a Dedene, I'd, I'd presume. 11 cards in the deck. There's a dark drum. Okay. Is this the, is this the flex? Do they have Switch Gust? Do they have the Gust? Oh, they could win with, uh, they can win with Puffy Smashers. Okay. I see. So that Darkrai makes a lot of sense. If they just have a Retreat option, then they do win the game. We're seeing a Pokemon Communication. I don't know what that means, but they need a Switch. And they can win the game with Puppy Smashers. This is actually really hype. What's up, Blake? Welcome to the stream. So the research... Um, yeah, I, I think if you have a Switch, you would put it in there. But they, they might not have a Switch, though. They're down two Air Balloon. They're down three Switch and a Mallow and Lana. Do they have a chance? Oh! <laughs> Is that it? Did we pull it back? Tell me we didn't pull it back. This is why you never scoop. Oh! 240! That's gonna be the game if we can find... What? Some, uh... No, we can just retreat into double or something. Double ski. I don't know. One, two, three, four, five, 250. Are we doing 250? Minus 30? Should just be it, right? Insane game. Well played. Well played. <laughs> GG's, my guy. Really well played. Put me in some really awkward spots, but that is the power of Pikaram beating. Arguably one of its one of its worst matchups, bringing it back from five prizes down. If I remember right, it was six one at one point in prizes. So absolutely insane game.